So I just got off the phone with one of my clients who at this point is more than just a client, but actually a good friend. And he was telling me how he's really struggling. He's taking some hits, getting knocked down. And he told me how he's been literally having to go find churches to get food from. Checks are bouncing and he's worried about, you know, getting behind on his rent and paying his bills. And I was shocked to hear this because, you know, he's, he's out there grinding and making moves to make a name for himself. But he's like, yeah, you know, I'm struggling. I'm fighting hard. And you know, but I keep getting knocked down. I'm having a really hard time getting by. But even though it's getting hard, I'm actually more inspired than ever to make it happen. And no matter how bad it gets, I'm going to keep moving forward. And after I got off the phone with him, I couldn't help but feel proud of him. Proud of him because I know that this will make him stronger. Having come from a place in my own life where I know what it's like to lose everything. I lost my home, my money. I know what it's like to have the power shut off. I know what it's like to have to go without eating. I've slept in my car, outside, on friends' couches just to be able to get by. And because of all that shit that I went through in my life, I know that I can make it no matter what. Losing everything doesn't scare me anymore. I already know what it's like to lose everything. I, I know I can go days without food and in fact feel awesome at the same time. I know I can sleep pretty much anywhere. See, going through darkness can actually make you stronger. You'll get to know yourself and trust yourself that you can go through shit in life and still make it through. See, it's said in life that you don't receive what you want, you receive exactly what you need. What you need to make you stronger. So let me ask you a question then. Is it possible that there is a lesson that can be learned from every single situation? That when you think you've actually been buried in a dark place, that you've actually been planted there? Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man, but then it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> Shadows betray you because they belong to me. When you go through adversity, you find out what you are made of. You find out that all the bullshit that you went through in your life, every struggle, was actually like a, a plate being added to your bench press. Each adversity, ripping away at your muscles, breaking down the fibers, but in the end, made you much stronger. You find out that you can get your heart broken and smashed and still survive. And not only survive, but thrive and progress and become even stronger than you were before. Like Iron Man, coming back with a new suit on, ready to kick ass. See, the very thing most people fear to avoid, the struggle, can actually be the one thing that can make them stronger. And in fact, not only should struggle not be avoided, it should actually be welcome because struggle is necessary. Nature has entwined struggle and resistance as a normal part of life and the way that the world works as a mechanism to grow, survive, and prosper. A fire can't be built without friction. A plane can't even fly without resistance. See, there was this experiment that was done where they brought these bees up into outer space to see what would happen. And for the first couple of days, everything was fine and, you know, the bees floated around like, hey, this is pretty nice, you know, this is how life ought to be. You know, just have to float around without having to work. But then on the fourth day, something interesting happened. They all died. And what was come to find out is that struggling and resistance was the very thing that kept them alive. See, in life, we weren't designed for complacency. We are meant to continually struggle and go through resistance as a mechanism to keep us alive and present. You know, and I talk with a lot of good, tender-hearted people who are, you know, well-intentioned, good people, but they fear the struggle. And while I like to use the analogy of a chick hatching from an egg, to demonstrate this gift that you are actually given in life by being allowed to struggle. You know, we all know of, you know, little baby chicks as these fuzzy little yellow fur balls, but you know, the truth is chicks, they come out all wet and messy. And, you know, just imagine there's this boy living on a farm and, you know, he's a first time new hatcher and he's, he's getting all nervous and anxious watching the chicks struggle to, to break free from the eggs. And I mean, sometimes it can look like the chicks are stuck, you know, like they just can't get out. Like, you know, they may die. And he sees this one chick that no matter how hard it pecks and pushes, it just keeps getting knocked back down. And so finally, he just can't take it anymore, you know, watching this torture. So he reaches out and he assists the, the chick breaking the, the shell open so it can get out. But what happens is if, is if you misinterpret the needs of the chick and prematurely intervene, 
it can actually end in dire consequences. See, that struggle and resistance from having to break through its own shell causes the chick's circulation to pump so hard that it naturally warms itself up once it's hatched. And if this process is disrupted and intervened with, then the lack of struggle actually leaves the chick more vulnerable to its own environment. That resistance and the struggle is what actually allowed the chick to survive. And see, our own life experiences, including how we respond to them, are our shells. And figuring out how to navigate them effectively is what prepares us effectively to navigate our world. And, you know, sometimes in life, the right path, it's not always the easiest one. In fact, most of the time it's not. But we commit ourselves to always taking right action. Because that is the foundation of who we are. Our character. It's not your title. It's not your income. Your legacy is built in which the manner you lived your life. Did you choose to live your life in a manner that would inspire others or did you always just choose to take the, the easy way out? And sometimes, you know, as, you know, as hard as it is, when you're going through that tough time, when you're in that dark moment and you just wonder, you know, why is this happening to me? It could be for no other reason but to be a messenger to your fellow man that you can go through tough times and still make it through, that you can get knocked down and get back up it again. That you can go through this adversity and get through to the other side. That you can be that messenger of a light that was put here to inspire others.